Hi Pisces, welcome to your new moon in Leo. Love tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, we're looking at this new moon in Leo, how it's going to affect your love situation no matter what it may be. Now keep in mind Pisces, if something comes out here that's not resonating or you have no interest in it, it's not your reading. I really have to stress that. I guess people don't get it. They still leave comments. So please only take it how it resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can uh, flip, switch, reverse energies anytime you need to. And uh, cross watchers could actually be a reading for you. And by the way, did I introduce myself? This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So with this new moon in Leo, I mean, Leo energy can be about uh, ego and pride and, you know, I'm not an astrologist, but, you know, Leo can, it, it doesn't always have to be bad. And then it does represent the sun and the strength and the tarot, which the sun is all about illumination. It's healing. It's about everything positive you could think of. And strength is about strong, courageous, brave, willpower, determination. It can be about holding back as well. So we'll see how this affects your uh, situation, no matter what it may be. All right, for Pisces, this one, enchantment and golden memories so i feel like you could still be connected to somebody here um whether you're still with them or not a lot of good memories here almost giving me like sun energy here which we're talking about that new moon in leo and the sun is represented by leo and still enchanted by the memory of someone so whether you were with them or not or maybe you were with them at one time in your life or recently or in the past or years ago whatever the situation may be there's still some enchantment here regarding memories that you shared with someone hmm, okay so and if you're wondering you know maybe i wonder if they're feeling the same it could very well be so pisces let's see what is going on for you everything you need to know is down below your playlist are down there so if this does not resonate you can check out your playlist past readings something there may resonate i do consider them timeless the month is just when messages come out but those messages literally could be for any time and if you are new here i do eight readings a month to a week and you can find um the content times days i publish down below as well and keep an eye on the community tab if i have to make changes in the next couple months regarding my full-time job and overtime if i have to cut back or whatever that's where i will put updates so we have here autumn that is about rebirth and we have tarot cards guidance interesting i don't think i've ever gotten this card in a reading so this may be your reading if you're either new to tarot cards or tarot card readings or you're coming here for guidance uh maybe something happened during the autumn time whether it was this past autumn or years ago whatever that means for you so this could be the guidance that some of you are looking for i just want you i just want to read you here what autumn has to say so so it says here cut ties with those who no longer serve your highest purpose that's the wrong one i'm reading the wrong one never mind okay <laughs> so I'm, I'm actually i was looking for autumn i'm actually so maybe that message was for some maybe there was a cutoff um at one time Let's see if I can find autumn here. Okay. Watchtower of the West. South. Okay, here it is. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Watchtower of the West brings you regeneration. And I think believe I just said that as it works in conjunction with element of water. Hmm. We are water sign. Being assisted in to enhance your psychic abilities emotions and heal and become balanced nature starts to turn within itself reflect on where you have been and what has been what has been done during the preceding months so could have been this past autumn for some um allow water to wash over you and achieve harmony peace and tranquility the west will open your heart and re reign in any over sensitivity connect with the king and queen of this season to receive a much needed cleansing and healing on all levels blue represents the element of water and should be used in accordance with your magical workings at this time so look deep within to determine what really matters 
the old ways that you viewed yourself and others are falling away. Don't let your sensitivity get the better of you. Time for some peace and inner work. Time for you. So, definitely here it's about healing. So you may be thinking about somebody here, enchanted still by their memory, but it could be that you're still needing some healing, but it also could be about um, regeneration here. Rebirth. All right, so let's see. Pisces, what is going on? So Pisces, I do have another channel for it to in flames. That link is below if you'd like to check that out. I do mostly collectors over there. I don't have time really to do Zodiacs on both channels and a full-time job. And over there, really, the Zodiacs were not getting many views from any, uh, for some reason. But the... Um, Collectives are doing fairly well, so I do a weekly check-in, and I do a monthly masculine, monthly feminine, a monthly spiritual guidance for separation, as well as a monthly um, 5D conversation. Interesting here. So we have record keeper and genetic memory. Interesting. 32, which is 5, which is about change, and then we have 1, which is a new beginning. So I'm just going to read you a little bit here about this record keeper. Because I feel like there's a... So I got whale. I believe there's probably number 32. Okay. So it says here, Vaults of creation are being opened to you, offering access to the sacred knowledge stored within, journeying within you, guiding you back to the deep core rhythms of nature and your instinctual connection to the cycles of life helping you remember your personal truth and wisdom and how to reconnect to the heartbeat of the universal mother. Rebirth, it's a lot about rebirth, your emotional body and receive your, revive your physical, your phys physicality by tapping to the knowledge of your own genetic memory and personal rhythm. You will remember the sacred bond you share with all things. You'll ultimately find the knowledge to heal yourself and your family, glean insight on how to, into how the rest of humanity could follow suit. So I'm almost feeling like here tapping into your own intuition, higher knowing, especially with this could be like Akashic records and genetic memory here. Definitely could be uh, past life energy here too with this person. So there's something definitely grained into your genetics with this connection with this person and the record keeper. Akashic records, past lives, um, Mem memory twice here memory and memories new beginning i feel like here there could be a rebirth here still enchanted with each other wow all right all right pisces so let's see what is going on for you you know when you think of autumn every everything kind of dies and falls away but there's always rebirth so it could have been thinking you know this was completely over but now there's an energy here of a possible rebirth all right. Still enchanted with the memories of each other. That's kind of what I feel here. All right. Let's see here. For Pisces. This new moon in Leo. And the new moon is all about new cycles. And you have a one there, which is new beginnings. Eight of Wands. So communication, travel, action. Cupid's arrows. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Healing, patience, balance soulmates divine alchemy bringing soulmates back together here i feel past life energy again so sagittarius energy four pentacles been a lot of protecting holding back death so definitely something was over here at one point so we have scorpio showing up um that is transformation transition new beginnings I'm almost feeling a stubborn stubborn energy with this Four of Pentacles. Yes, it could have been over here, but now there's like a need and urge to come back together. Still enchanted with the memory of each other. That's, that keeps coming through here. Some of you may be looking for guidance. Do they feel the same? Or does this have a chance to come back together? Four of Wands. You could have been married to this person. Or talk about marriage or commitment moving in. Some it could be Twin Flame. doesn't have to be. Um, four of Wands definitely is, it could be ceremony, celebrations, stability in the home, Queen of Swords. There could have even been a divorce for some, doesn't have to be. Libra energy, Page of Pentacles, a solid offer. 
So sometimes the Queen of Swords here can be, for me, divine, stepping in with truth and clarity, with that sword of truth, like she's holding the Ace of Swords. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy, a solid offer. Can we just talk? Can we talk about the whole situation? Now, if you take this pentacle and add it to the four, that's the five. That's like abandoned, lost, lonely, left out in the cold, feeling the loss of each other, the coldness of being separated. Definitely, if something had happened autumn into winter. And if you do subtract the pentacle from the four, you get three, which is about rebuilding. Look at this. We have the king, queen of swords looking at each other, wanting to speak, wanting to talk, shed truth, clarity, communicate, being honest. Six of swords about moving on, but then wanting to rush back in. He's sword, six of swords are moving on, but the knight of wands is rushing back in. Sagittarius energy. Eight of cups again, walking away. Judgment here with uh, karma. So Scorpio energy again. So there's definitely been a release here, but now there's a judgment call, life review, relationship review. I feel like somebody wants to come back. It could be the two of you. King of Cups. Pisces, that's you. Seven of Wands. Somebody maybe blocked somebody here. Shadow side, Devil, Energy, Capricorn. Five of Cups. I was just going to say I felt like somebody had an addiction. And now we have the five cups, all the cups spilt over, kind of looking at those cups, like what did I do, sadness, loss, somebody kind of lost themselves in an addiction here, so we do have the Capricorn energy here, somebody kind of blocked this person, said tell you conquer this, I'm done, so I feel like somebody left the situation because they couldn't handle maybe someone's addiction or shadow side, whatever that means here, and now the other person is reflecting on that it's really over here. King of Cups can be somebody who, you know, is kind of king of the cups, if you know what I mean. Doesn't have to be, though. Empress, somebody knew their value and worth and said, you know, until you know your value and worth, yeah, it's kind of over here. So someone, until someone gets their drive, ambition, and passion back, Aries energy, five of wands, a lot of conflict here, sabotage, a lot of waiting, wondering, you know, especially if it was heading towards marriage or it was a marriage, Stress revolving around a marriage could have been divorce and the king of pentacles definitely could be a divorce but then i kind of see this coming back around oh my goodness so let's see we have capricorn capricorn libra <clears throat> sag scorpio pisces are right there it could be earth or air oh my goodness okay all right let's see what else here for pisces King of Swords showing up again. Gemini energy. Ace of Swords. Divine clarity from Source. King of Wands. We just see the Queen. So we're getting a lot of matches here. Three of Swords. Yeah, it was a very heartbreaking situation here. Tower. Big shake up. Fighting. Arguing. I don't feel like there was like a, th a person third party. I feel like it was some sort of addiction, obsession... Or something here that kind of blew this connection apart i'm getting drinking but it could be anything addiction to anything here it could be sex it could be anything and somebody said you know what maybe they gave this person a huge awakening because they actually the other person actually left and said i'm not going to stand for it we did see the empress she stands up for herself she doesn't take things that are not on her level so we have Aries, Leo showing up with the King of Wands. We did see the King of Pentacles, King of Wands, King of Swords, King of Cups. <coughs> so we have an, sorry, we have an Emperor here. It could be the masculine that pushed the feminine away. Now you can be female, be masculine, be male and be feminine. So I feel like a masculine energy pulled a feminine energy away because of an addiction. It was a very heartbreaking energy here, but it was the awakening the other person needed here i feel so there's a big change here with the tower a shift a shock a crumbling down a moving on but yet still enchanted with the memories of each other so what the heck is going to happen here empress showing up again libra taurus in the ten of cups 
So I feel like there's an energy of still, maybe still wondering and hoping if this really could, um, you know, spend a lot of time and energy invested in the connection. You know, maybe we could still work it out here. It could be no communication right here. Pisces, decision, indecision here, two of swords. But we have the lovers, Gemini. So it is a strong soul connection. I mean, we do have the genetic memory and the record keeper. In the sun. So there's that uh, new moon in Leo. The sun. Happiest card in the deck. Healing. Communication. And there's the queen of cups, a match to the king. So we have like every match here. Aquarius energy with the page of swords. Wanting to communicate. Needing to communicate. Somebody cut something out. Especially with the ace of swords there. That is, you know, cutting things out no longer serving. Maybe this person's cleaned up their act. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Overflowing here. Self-renewal, self-love, spiritual awakening. Brand new beginning in love here. Someone had to work on themselves here. Three of Pentacles. Four of Swords. So a lot of healing, thinking, contemplating energy here. Eight of Swords. And the Hierophant. So being stuck in a situation in a marriage or a commitment. Taurus energy there. Justice. There could have actually even been a divorce. Or thinking about divorce. Libra energy. Hangman. Six of Pentacles. So you wanted you know, more equal and balance from this person. So we have Pisces here with the Six of Pentacles. Two cards of like justice for me. With the Six of Pentacles and justice. But like the, again soulmate. It's a strong soulmate connection. It is. Maybe this person's finally balanced themselves out. I mean, we have Taurus here with the Hierophant. Big, big leveling up. Traditions, morals, standards, values. Leveling up in a big, big way. Learning, growing, expanding. This could be wise counsel. So maybe somebody's gotten wise counsel or therapy for some sort of shadow within themselves, whatever that was. Again, putting in that work. Seven of Swords, Nine of Cups. So this person could have been sneaky, you know, but somebody could not bear this anymore. So we do have a single energy here, wish fulfillment. Somebody felt like it was for the best, especially if someone was being sneaky about their problem, whatever it was here. The King of Pentacles and the Star. So if it was a masculine energy, definitely deep, deep healing here with the Star. Fate, destiny, divine timing, things meant to be. Faith, hope, optimism. Nine of Wands. Somebody's definitely been struggling here. Five of Swords. Emperor. So somebody's an emperor now. <laughs> strength overcomes anything here. Which we did see the devil. And strength overcomes anything. So we have Leo energy again. Emperor. So rising up to emperor status here. Did all, all four kings. Aries energy. Leo energy. Again, there's that past life connection with infinity. So I feel like whatever. I feel, I feel like they. Um, someone's been waiting for this. I feel... So somebody here has leveled up, they straightened up their act, and you're still enchanted with each other. This is a deep connection, many, many lifetimes, still enchanted by the memories of each other, wondering, with, and maybe you're coming to these readings wondering, is there a chance? Have they cleaned up their act? Is it a chance for us to get back together? Do they still think about the connection? Is this a deep connection? What kind of connection is it? Some it could be twin flame. It doesn't have to be, though. They have the four wands right there. But I mean, <coughs> we have like every, I mean, the two of cups, four of wands, ten of cups. Um, I think we saw the lovers at some point. Temperance, record keeper, genetic memory gives me all strength with the infinity, all that past life energy as well. Something could be happening in the next two months or so. I have the two of cups here. All right, so let's get you advice and guidance here for Pisces. So ultimately... It's going to be up to you, Pisces, if you want to give us another shot. If they feel like they really leveled up and cleaned up their act. I feel like they did, because we did see the Emperor. Alright. Pisces. Okay. So we have Keep Dancing, 31-4, Stable Ground Energy. And let it go and flow, 27, which is 9, which can be a single energy, almost completion, full circle, luck, expansion with the rainbow. Let go and flow. 
that's kind of water energy, which is your energy. Kind of have the moon shining here. So there's that new moon in Leo. Dare to be happy. 26, 8. So 8 is about putting in the work, growth, expansion, communication. And stick with it. 44, 8 again. So this person climbed climbed this big, big, whatever this was to overcome this challenge. They stuck with it. Two fours, you wouldn't really reduce that. Four is the number of stability. We have double four. We have the four of wands as well. So they did what they had to do. They climbed that ladder. They overcome the obstacle. Give it to God. So maybe they've turned religious or spiritual. Step away. So they stepped away from whatever they were doing here. Say no. So they're saying no. Whatever this was that was keeping them addicted, maybe they may be saying thank you to you because you kind of woke them up um, to do what they had to do as well. Wow. They could be going like more holistic medicine, maybe even vegan, like more green, green way of living as well, which may actually shock you. Wow. All right. Big turnaround for this person, I feel, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, that's what I have for you. So I hope it helped. It resonated. Again, everything you need to know is down below. Your playlists are down there. So if this doesn't resonate, you can definitely check out past readings. I do consider them timeless. The month is just when the messages come up. They literally could be for any time. And as well as the Twin Flame channel, everything's below. So wishing you the best, Pisces, and I shall see you next time.